what's going on guys welcome or welcome back to the wolf den this is a new type of reaction video i've been thinking about doing it for some time and i'm going to be reacting to some scary ghost videos more specifically i'm reacting to five scary ghost videos to trigger your anxieties They told me do it like Kate does. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, these videos come from Noob's Top 5. It's one of my favorite channels for checking out spooky uh, videos, so definitely go check him out. Uh, I'm going to try and make this, like, a bigger uh, reaction box than usual, so it's probably going to, like, take up, like, this part of the screen so that you guys can see it as well. Um, this is just a, t a test. I'm going to call this Freaky Fridays. I'm just going to jump in, watch this one now. And then if these uh, take off and people are interested, then we'll talk more about my paranormal beliefs and, and what I believe and some of my experiences. Um, but I always take video evidence with a, with a pinch of salt, as I think everyone should. Um, this could be terrifying. This could be an absolute mistake. But five scary ghost videos to trigger your anxiety. I should I didn't need to... Top 5 Ghosts Call on Camera Scary Things in Creepy Basements YouTube user Advil claims that while he was upstairs he could hear strange noises and even voices coming from his basement. He goes to check it out and it did not go well. Hello? I'm gonna turn on the light, alright? Hello? Hello? No. Okay. Oh, somebody's gonna jump out. I heard something. Nothing? Is anyone there? A large display case seems to move on its own, and Advil just gets out of there. But wow. two nights later, again he hears the strange voices oh, coming from the basement. I heard some noises again. Hello? No. Did you see it? When slowed oh. down, you can see it. That is terrifying. A dark figure walking across the doorway at the bottom of the stairs. YouTuber Advil says that at the time of this recording, he was renting the house. He recently moved to a new home and says that he has not had any more paranormal experiences. That's convenient, isn't it? Like, oh, I don't live in, in the place where this supposedly took uh, place. There's no way we can <laughs> verify that. Um, I always find with these things, right, it's at least when I've had experiences before with like paranormal stuff and we've tried to record it, we've always ju it's just happened just after we've turned the camera off or it's happened like off camera slightly. It's never happened like that. And it always seems to be with these like it's the perfect panning moment that they get there and then the thing moves or then, the you know, it is always just seems a little bit too um, contrived for clout. But yeah. It's pretty spooky stuff, though. I'm hoping that you guys can see as, as much as I can. I'm trying to keep myself as far off the back off the screen as possible to make a lot of room for this. But yeah, uh, let's keep going. Swedish YouTuber Patrick Janssen claims that when he went down to his apartment's poorly lit basement, he decided to test his new video camera in the dark surroundings. And that's when he saw something truly disturbing. Oh, 
Now, I think it's safe to say that the camera works pretty well in the dark. That is, that is so fake. That is super fake. That is nonsense. That is, no, no chance. Not real. Get rid of it. Skip. But, what do you think? Nah, fake. Terrible. Schools out. Korean ghost hunter Tosa Ochi explores everything from creepy temples to haunted buildings and abandoned mental hospitals. He broadcasts his investigations live on the website africatv.com. Tosa Ochi also uploads the creepiest highlights from his live stream to his YouTube channel. In this video sent in by one of his fans, the ghost hunter investigates an allegedly haunted elementary school in Chalado, South Korea. The school has been abandoned for nearly 20 years. As Tosa Ochi makes his way through the building's creepy hallways, he begins to hear strange, unexplained sounds. Oh. Oh. What is that? Oh, wait a minute. I really... Wait a minute. He hears the loud bang of what sounds like a slamming door and runs for his life from the creepy school building. See, that is more akin to the stuff that, like, I've come across in terms of, like, paranormal activity. Like, when you just go and search out ghost stuff or when you go to, like, haunted attractions or, like, those kind of things. I'm always, again, a bit haunted attractions you never know if they're putting stuff on spooky but that's more aligned with the stuff you know just outside of earshot just little things to mess with you never anything concrete little uh bits of, of playfulness it's definitely far more along the lines of the stuff that i've come across in, in my lifetime around like paranormal stuff so uh yeah wow that this could be genuine but also it's, it's an abandoned place people could be living in there and just making noises to scare scare the kids to get out he doesn't want to go back inside but after repeated requests by his live stream viewers, he gathers his courage and heads back inside. Why would you do this by yourself, though? Huh? so creepy being isolated like that oh wait abuji tosaochi hears the chilling sound of a school desk moving across the floor somewhere in the building then the unexplained sound of something falling nearby sends him running for safety once again but now tosaochi decides to go back inside and try to provoke the spirit to show itself. Now very freaked out, he decides to set up his camera to record the dark school hallway as he gathers his nerve outside. What he catches on camera is truly chilling. What does he catch on camera? Oh, oh what the f is that? That's convenient though that he's just placed the camera. Oh no, that is creepy as hell though. <laughs> oh, that is horrible. Oh, that is nasty. Anxiety triggered. Not one, but two mysterious figures seem to peek out into the dark hallway. Tosa Ochi heads inside once more, 
again intending to provoke the spirits that haunt the school. It did not go well. Oh god. So so chi why? Oh um apparently in some cultures you should swear at ghosts if you're trying to get activity because they connect to the negative energy and can then use that to manifest, right? So a lot of people I've met that are into this kind of thing says that you should always be respectful and polite and that uh, spirits and entities will be far more likely to um, engage with you if you are respectful or if you bring them like tokens or gifts or whatever. Um, like, hey, ghost, it's your present. Um, but like, oh, like little things like that. But then in some cultures, they think like the, the more you shout and swear and scream at ghosts, the more likely it's like goad them into like showing yourself. I don't know if that's what he's going to delve into now, but maybe uh, that was creepy, but it's so convenient that the, the camera's put down here and then suddenly, oh, I can. Hello. Oh, creepy. What's going on? The funniest thing, and I guarantee 110% it's going to happen here, right? You see these people, come out or I'll kill you, come out or I do this, you son of a bitch. Da, 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 da. The moment a little thing, like a pebble falls or something, ah, they're running, screaming out. Um, I guarantee you, that's incoming in about 10 seconds. Then, Almost, almost Did you see it? Oh, Someone shit, or something that? seems to be silently walking along the second floor. No, what is that? Oh, it's like a person walking. Oh, Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, to see more of Tosa Ochi. That is creepy because he was shouting. So if that was a person, they would have been aware that he was there. So surely they would be, they wouldn't be moving so creepily like that, so slowly. And, oh, oh, that is nasty. That sent shivers down my spine. Who said it was a good idea to watch ghost videos by myself? At least I got the light on. Right. I'm about halfway through. I can only get worse, right? I hope you guys are sticking with me and you're still here. And hopefully you have some explanations for what we are seeing here. I'm still, I don't believe half of them, but they are creepy, 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 scary little videos for sure. Chief's investigations, you can head over to his YouTube channel or you can watch his almost daily live streams on africatv.com. Come hell or high water. The popular YouTuber TechRax has been testing the durability of technology for years, especially the Samsung Galaxy series and the Apple iPhone. On his channel, you can watch these phones get destroyed in pretty much every way imaginable. He drops them from extreme heights, he crushes them with cars, shocks them with tasers, pounds them with hammers, there's hot knives, gas torches, and even a lawnmower. You name it, and TechRax has probably thrown an iPhone at it. However, when testing the durability of his brand new iPhone 11 Pro, things take an unexpected turn. But I like videos from channels like this because their content isn't around the paranormal or scary stuff. So it makes less sense as to why in all the hundreds of videos that they make, there would be an instance of a paranormal thing that then gets submitted. Like sometimes you see like people that are backpackers or climbers or something will catch something weird and it'll be on the channel. And that stuff is far, far more compelling than, than people whose whole channels are dedicated to ghost hunting. So I'm quite excited to see what this is. It looks like he's gonna catch something creepy on his iPhone once he chucks it into something. He travels seven hours to an isolated spot in the Nevada desert. He plans to drop the iPhone 11 into a 50 foot deep hot spring named Diana's Punch Bowl. For unknown reasons, this hot spring is also known by the name, the Devil's Cauldron. Please, and we made it to the location, there. guys. I apologize in advance if it's super windy. We're basically in the middle of this desert. Uh, I want to show you guys the rig, what exactly is going to go on first before I even show you the hole. Now I want to show you guys the actual hole. So wow. as I'm walking close, just a couple steps here. Pretty crazy guys, you can see there's steam coming straight out of this water. It's supposed to be about 140 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, so you will burn yourself if you try uh, like taking a dip in here.
but it's super sick. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Now, yeah, that's dope. Nature is dope. Now, the first time Tech Rex drops his recording iPhone into the extremely hot water, the phone comes out fine, and the footage shows nothing particularly strange. So it's God, if he sees like a person or something in there, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna absolutely freak. Out. Already. But the second time he drops his phone into the devil's cauldron, things get a little weird. When he reviews the footage later, he's shocked by what he finds. That sounds like someone screaming. No way. Tegrax says he has no idea what could have caused this strange underwater screaming, <laughs> especially oh. since his first recording didn't pick up any odd sounds at all. So, just that has to be chemicals, right? That just has to be some chemicals in the water or some damage being done to the speaker i remember i say i remember um, i know of a case where they drilled a hole right into the ground and someone dropped a recorder down it and it sounded from the recorder like there were screams coming and people said it was the screams of the people down in hell but i think it turned out just to be natural gases and, and fossil fuels like you know like burning away deep within the earth so it's got to be the same thing it's got to be some release of gas or chemicals but me that sounded like a scream when it went in. That again was a scary, scary thing to hear. What do you think oh, the strange sound from the devil's cauldron could be? Let me know down in the comments. It has to be you can some watch form this full video as well as Techrax's examination of the footage over on his YouTube channel. Hider in the hallway. This next video was shared to Facebook by Jennifer Majors, who works as the manager of the Haunted Eagle's Nest Hotel in Quincy, Illinois. Employees at the hotel claimed to have seen unexplained shadows in the hotel's halls and heard bizarre childlike giggling when no one else was around. When supplies began to mysteriously disappear from the housekeeper's cleaning carts, Jennifer checked the CCTV footage for an explanation. What does a ghost need with silly bang? Flash or bloody cleaning wires? What does a go what what is she what she's going home and cleaning a little ghost house? What does she need that for? It sounds like you've got some <laughs> thrifty fingered maids mate taking a lot of stuff home it doesn't sound like, oh yeah blame the ghost girl she's desperate for some wet wipes what but instead <laughs> she found something downright terrifying where am i looking In the empty hallway, a childlike shadow figure can Ooh. be seen. Hey, here's a little shadow. That was super quick, though. And I didn't take anything. Quickly running from the elevator towards the cart and then mysteriously darting back out of sight. Oh, that's now, crazy. this could just be explained away as a CCTV compression error, but that doesn't explain the speed of the movement. Yeah, oh. that's mad. That's like the flashes ghost flying. Okay, that's not very scary. Also, it should be noted that there is no light seen coming from inside the elevator. So the elevator doors that this figure seems to run out of are closed. So is this the ghost of a child running around the Eagle's Nest Hotel? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? That's crazy. That's cool. That's not scary. That's definitely one to check out in terms of like, how do you explain that? And again, just a random CCTV clip. I'm far more inclined to believe these kind of things. Um, my anxiety was triggered and now it's, it's fine. Now I'm like, it's my uh, intrigue that's being triggered about, you know, what's going on with this. That's cool. I, that, that's a really cool video. What do you guys think that is? Anybody got any answers for what that one might be? You going. decide. Oh, that's Down cool. below. Reddit user Spiders Are Disgusting says that this next video was filmed Spiders are disgusting. They terrify me. I'd, I'd be more triggered if a spider was on the screen than a ghost. I'll tell you that much. 
A few years back, while they were outside doing stunts on their trampoline. Later, when they watched their video back, this. Oh, there's a person. Did you see it? It's like in a Victorian Watch dress. again. Yeah, it's like a person there. Oh, you can't see where I'm pointing. I'm just to the back. It's like a girl with black hair and like a white frock walking away from under the thing. Oh, that's weird. It's like the ring What girl. looks like a little girl with long dark hair wearing a white dress crawls out from under the trampoline at a very unnatural angle. Yeah, that's what weird. What makes it even creepier is that some Reddit... That does look like the overlay from the ring though because it's got like the hands like bowing and then like the movement up. So... It could be uh, a, a impose of that. Viewers yeah. note that the girl's neck looks like it's bent sideways. Yeah, it does. Reddit user Spiders Are Disgusting says that to this day, they have no idea who this mysterious disappearing girl is. But what do you think? That does. It looks like it's from the film The Ring. So it, possibly they've just superimposed that on because um, it's very like see for it's very grainy footage so i don't know i don't really know how you do that kind of stuff so i don't really know how to tell if something's fake or authentic but yeah oh it got me first of all but now i'm thinking it's a bit a bit shilly what do you guys think oh thanks for watching if you oh, see a video that that's it that's that's the last one uh anxiety was not true no it was triggered definitely it was triggered uh I don't I can't I don't know if I'll give a verdict on these now and set and see. I can't even remember all five of them. That last one, Ghost Girl, don't really know. Ghost in the hallway at the hotel. Yeah, it's cool footage for sure. I definitely want to see like if I could work out what the hell that was about. The sounds underwater, yeah, it really creeped me out. The um it did sound like a scream when it went in. It was really, really terrifying. Um but it could just be chemical reaction. And if you're here and you're sciencey and you're knowledgeable and you're smart, tell me that that was chemical so I can sleep better tonight. And also uh, the, uh, the, the schoolwork one, that was pretty creepy. Uh, that the, When the last thing that moved very slowly was really, really scary. That sent shivers, shivers down my spine. Um, the first two felt like possibly the most faked to me if they're all fake they're all fake they can't be a, a most faked and at least faked if they're all faked so but those are the ones that felt for me like uh yeah they were too like oh we're looking here and now here's the thing too produced um but yeah that's it first episode of freaky fridays done uh let me know what you guys think Do you want me to continue this is it something that you're not really interested in if so then put some suggestions for kind of more content you want to see. I want to try and move away from just the music reactions and try and do some more fun stuff, fill the channel up with a diverse range of content. I've got my own ideas, obviously, but also I want to make sure that I'm making stuff that appeals to you. So any ideas you have, welcome down below. And uh, until the next video, guys, peace.